Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can design a fabric label for printing um, using Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm using Photoshop Elements for this tutorial, but if you have a full version of Photoshop you can also use it. So I'm going to begin, I have this little avatar here and I want this little guy on my uh, fabric label. But I'm going to create a new canvas by clicking on File, New, Blank File. And from here, I'm going to create a 2x2, two two, and it's 2 inches by 2 inches um, temp, uh, canvas. And I'm going to keep my resolution at 300. I'm going to click OK here. And it's going to create a new canvas for me. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create some kind of guides for myself because I want to make sure I don't print outside of my seam allowance. So I'm going to click here in the ruler and if you don't see your ruler you can actually bring it to um, your canvas by clicking on view rulers in Photoshop elements uh, so I'm gonna click here and just press my mouse button down and I'm gonna drag and as you can see the cursor changes I'm gonna put this at about a quarter of an inch here and I'm gonna drag another one and put it at the bottom kind of at the same spot and I'm going to do one right in the middle also because I'm going to be folding this label in half so I want to make sure I know where my fold line is and then I want to do margin or grids for the side guides for the side sorry so I'm going to do it about the same also you so basically you're just clicking in the ruler and dragging out okay and here we go so now that I have my guide set up this gives me a really good visual this is a quarter inch seam allowance that I've created all around and I can actually have um, some text and image here on the bottom and on the top because this label will be folded in half. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click back to my little avatar guy over here and I'm going to click on him and hold my mouse button down and just drag his image over the canvas and kind of place them where I want them. Move them around. I'm going to put them right there. I'm not going to make them bigger. I'm going to keep them the size that he's at because I think that's a good size. And I'm just going to add some text by clicking on the text tool. I'm going to change my text color to match his eyes. So kind of bluish there. And um, I have uh, some uh, different fonts that I can use. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, what am I going to use? Let's pick a good font here because your fonts you want to be careful. You want to make sure your font isn't too thin. Um, chunky fonts print very well. So let's use this Hubble standard. And I'm just going to click anywhere and I'm going to start typing. Now, once you type, um, don't worry about it, it going behind your image or um, not being exactly where you want it. Once you're done typing, just click the green here the green check and then go back to your move tool and now you can just grab that and move it anywhere you want okay so now I want to add um, my name here keeping it in the same font and color and I'm just gonna move that down and that's it so um, let's say this is all I wanted for my label and I was done designing what I like to do and not everyone does this is I like to click on edit define pattern so that creates a pattern for me uh, I'm gonna call it Myra fabric so this creates a pattern for me so now what I can do is I can fill a whole page with my pattern without having to copy and paste over and over again. Okay, so we're going to get our canvas ready for our sp spoon flower uh, upload. So I'm going to create a new canvas. And I'm going to make this one 25 by 25 inches. And I'm going to keep it at 300 for the resolution because the label I created, um, the label template was at resolution of 300. If you keep this at a smaller resolution, your print's not going to come out to the right size. So I'm going to just click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer by clicking 
uh, the create new layer icon down here and this is the same in Photoshop elements in Photoshop and on that new layer I'm going to click edit fill layer and if it's not chosen already under use you want to select pattern and then you're going to select your custom pattern I have a few patterns I've created but I'm going to use the last one I created which is this one if you hover over it, it'll tell you the name of the pattern and I'm going to click OK so now what it's going to do it's going to fill my entire um, sheet with the pattern and if we zoom in let's see if I can zoom in here you notice that it's the label I created so I'm going to zoom back out okay so now what I want to do is I want my labels to print on the bias so I want them to print diagonally on the fabric sheet so when I cut it I don't get any fraying um, and this is a trick that I learned uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this layer this layer right here 45 degrees so to rotate what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on image transform free transform in uh, Photoshop it is under edit free transform and up here you have a few options uh, right here is where you would rotate it so I'm just going to type 45 and as you can see it automatically rotates my canvas 40, 45 degrees I'm going to accept that and it's going to transform it okay so once your image is, has been rotated and it's transformed um, I like to do an additional step at this point you can take this image and upload it to Spoonflower um, I like to set it to the exact dimensions of what I'm going to print so on Spoonflower you can print on a 21 by 18 inch swatch or sample size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image uh, down so I'm going to click on my crop tool and I'm going to constrain the proportions here so I'm going to put 21 wide by 18 in height so now when I run my crop tool against this it's going to it's going to keep it to that proportion to the 18 by 21 as you can see I'm just going to move it over so it takes up you know so I get a good amount of labels here you can kind of eyeball it so you can see where your labels are going to be and then once you constrain it you're okay with it you just commit it by clicking the green check so now I would take this image uh, JPEG of this I like to have both files keep the same name and I'm going to click save here this here is what I'm going to upload to Spoonflower